Hello everyone and welcome back to our Advent series. Today we are looking at the great rescue of Israel from Egypt. This is Exodus 14. Now everyone knows that story of Israel crossing the Red Sea. You've probably seen it on movies. You have on one hand the Israelites crying and complaining to Moses. The Red Sea is before them and the Egyptian army is rushing behind them. This seems like a hopeless situation. They ask Moses, is it that there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us to die in the wilderness? On the other hand, you have the Egyptian soldiers. They are running towards speedily coming to the Israelites. You, you can see their chariots. You can see them holding on soldiers. This is almost a guaranteed win for them. When we peep behind the scenes, we realize everything is actually working according to plan. We read in Exodus 14 that it was actually God himself who told Moses to bring the people to camp in front of the sea. Not only that, it was God himself who hardened the heart of Pharaoh to chase after the Israelites. Looking at the faces of the Israelites, this is a hopeless situation. Looking at the uh, Egyptian soldiers, this is almost a guaranteed win. When you look at God's word, you realize he, God is pulling all the strings. As the story goes, Moses lifts up his hand and the Red Sea separates. The impossible happens. Israel walks on dry ground. But not only is Israel saved from imminent danger, no, we realize that God allows the Egyptians to run across the sea as well. What happens? Before they realize their wheels start getting clogged, Moses lifts his hand again and the water sweep them across. We read towards the end of Exodus 14. That day the Lord saved Israel from the hands of the Egyptians and they saw them dying and dead on the seashore. And when the Israelites saw this, the mighty hand of God, they feared the Lord. But not only that, they trusted in him and in his servant Moses. When everything seems to fall apart, when God's plan seems to be falling in danger, we realize no. When we look at God's word, we see he has been the one pulling the strings all along. He will fulfill what he promised to Abraham. He will bring us to our eternal hope. Whenever we feel like it is going against God's plan, when we feel like it's failing, all we need to do is look at his word and trust in his servant, Jesus. Thank you for listening and watch out for our next episode in Exodus 20.